Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a woman named Hana. Hana was known throughout the village for her fiery temper. She was quick to anger and often shouted at her family members, leaving them feeling hurt and confused. This story is about how Hana learned to control her anger and the profound change it brought to her life and those around her. Hana lived with her husband Taro and their two children. They loved Hana very much, but her frequent anger made life hard for them. Whenever Hana got angry, she yelled loudly and her children were scared. Taro loved Hana, but he couldn't handle her anger and often left the house to avoid fights. One day, after a really bad argument, Hana's anger calmed down. She looked around the house and saw her children's frightened faces and the hurt look on Taro's face. Tears filled her eyes as she realized how much her anger was hurting her loved ones. After her outbursts, Hana often felt tired and full of regret. She wished she could control her temper, but no matter how hard she tried, her anger always took over. She felt stuck in a cycle of anger and regret, unable to find a way out. One bright spring morning, the news spread through the village that a wise Zen monk had arrived. The villagers were excited because they had heard about the monk's wisdom and healing powers. Hana, desperate for a way to control her anger, decided to visit the monk. When Hana reached the monk's hut, she saw a long line of villagers. She patiently waited, and when her turn came, she felt a glimmer of hope. How can I help you, my child? The monk asked in a calm and soothing voice. Hana took a deep breath and told him about her anger and how it was ruining her life and hurting her family. The monk listened carefully, nodding as she spoke. When she finished, the monk smiled kindly and handed her a small bottle filled with a clear liquid. This is a special medicine for controlling anger, he said. When you feel angry, put four drops of this medicine on your tongue and do not speak a single word for 10 minutes. If you speak, the power of the medicine will be lost. Hannah thanked the monk and hurried home, eager to try the medicine. That evening, while Hannah was making dinner, someone accidentally knocked over a bowl of rice. Hannah felt her anger rising. She grabbed the bottle and put four drops on her tongue, clenching her fists to stay silent. The first few minutes were the hardest. Hannah's mind was full of angry thoughts and she wanted to yell, but she remembered the monk's instructions and stayed silent. As time passed, her anger faded, replaced by a calm she had never felt before. After 10 minutes, Hana saw the person nervously cleaning up the rice. Instead of yelling, she knelt down and helped clean up. They looked up, surprised but relieved. In the days that followed, Hana used the medicine whenever she felt angry. Each time, it became easier to stay silent and let her anger fade. She noticed changes in her family too. Taro, who had been distant, started spending more time at home her children, who had been afraid, became more relaxed and happier. Hana also felt different. She no longer felt deep regret after getting angry. She felt more in control of her emotions and more at peace. After a week, the monk returned to the village. Hana couldn't wait to see him and thank him for the medicine. She rushed to his hut, feeling very grateful. Thank you, wise monk, she said, bowing deeply. The medicine you gave me has changed my life. I no longer feel the anger that once consumed me. The monk smiled and nodded. I'm glad to hear that, Hana, but there is something you should know. The bottle I gave you didn't contain any special medicine. It was just water. Hana stared at the monk in disbelief. But how? I felt the change. My anger disappeared. The power to control your anger came from within you. The monk explained. The water was just a tool to help you focus. By staying silent for 10 minutes, you let your anger pass. You learn the power of silence. Hana looked confused. The monk continued. Silence allows you to pause and breathe. It gives your mind a moment to calm down and think clearly. When you stay quiet, you don't say things you might regret later. Silence helps you see the situation more clearly and respond more wisely. Hana thought about the monk's words and realized the truth. It wasn't the water that changed her, it was her own ability to stay calm and silent when angry. She understood that silence helped her control her emotions and respond with kindness and patience, 